Hey there, we are at day three of the Google I.O. 2017 and I'm pretty excited for what's more to come. And right now I have Nasir Khan with me. Nasir is the manager for Android DevRel. Hey Nasir, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, hope you had a great I.O. by till now. Yeah, it was really amazing. So Nasir, there are a lot of developers in India who are developing apps for Android. Mm -hmm. And there are a few questions that are quite common they have. Not many of them have machines that are having high configuration. Yes. Uh, though Android Studio have improved a lot in the past, are there any improvements to come? Yeah, so uh, with 3.0 preview 1, uh, you must have seen significant improvement in build speeds uh, that are there. We're constantly working on it's very high priority for us. Even otherwise, we have detailed instructions on our site uh, to configure Studio for uh, low-end configuration machines. So there are things like uh, don't go with your max Eve size beyond 512 MB, turn on the power save mode, uh, remove the lint checks that you don't need and things of that kind. If you're on a Windows machine, then uh, try out, check out the 32-bit uh, studio uh, on a 32-bit 32 32-bit 32 JDK. That really helps a lot with memory. Uh, in this I.O. we announced uh, instant apps. Yeah. So even if you're not targeting instant apps right away, I would encourage you to look at the, the re refactor of your app into modules called feature modules. So that helps in uh, a, making the app look more architecturally sane but at the same time, if you have modules which are not dependent on each other, you can get better incremental build speeds. Uh, the second common problem that we developers in India have is networks. Uh, network in India can sometimes get quite flaky even if they are on a 4G or 3G network. It can act sometimes really bad because the number of users are more. So what is your advice for people who are developing for such networks? Yeah, developers great. Yeah, yeah, I think the, the, the biggest, the first recommendation I would give is, is don't assume network in your app. Always assume that network will be either bad or flaky. Uh, write for the cache first. So basically write your app with cache in mind. Try to read data from cache. So it's like read through design where you read from the cache first and only then make a network connection or network call. And also try to prioritize your network requests. So things like user is looking at the app, try to make the network calls only for data that is relevant for that screen. Uh, if you have still things to do, you can defer them, use a job scheduler maybe, things of that kind. So that would really help in getting a better user experience in a, if the network is really patchy. Uh, you should also make use of connectivity manager. Uh, so make use of that, try to make sure that you know the network condition when your app is making network, network calls, so make use of that. Defer the jobs that are not needed right away using job scheduler. Mm -hmm. So job info has uh, some parameter where you can schedule it where the network condition is right for that request. And what if I'm a newbie Android developer or I'm just starting to develop for Android? Which are the resources, if there are any that are available online, I should go to? Uh, videos or documents or like what's the link that I should follow basically? Yeah, so developer.android.com is a great place to start. So to start from there, uh, you'll also find a lot of interesting trainings. Uh, the Udacity course that yeah. was recently launched is also uh, pretty recent. You should check this out. Um, you should definitely start looking at Android O right away if you're beginning to, to develop because there are things that have changed in O uh, that will be relevant going forward. So also help in designing the app right. So look at that. If you're developing specifically for India market or markets that are specific to those, there are, there are guidelines to design your app in such a way that is uh, that will be ready for, for, like you said, network conditions yeah. and, and low-end devices. So definitely think of that. We have a great checklist to look at. I'll send you the link for that. The last question I have is, these developers or these Indian developers have a lot of questions sometimes. Where are the links or what are the Twitter handles? They can simply go and tweet and ask these questions. Sure, sure. So we are uh, we are very active on G+, uh, Google+, we are also very active on Twitter. We have, a, we have a Twitter account for Android developers and Studio. We also have an Android developer community on Google+, so join all of those, uh, check those out, answer, right. post your questions there, we are happy to help. Thanks for all those answers Nasir and thanks for joining us as well today. I know you were having a very hectic schedule because of the I.O. And by the way, do check out if you haven't yet Nasir's video on what's new in Android O for developers. Thank you, thank you everyone, bye.